at least in English. Yeah, in French, no one will understand. Okay, it's recording. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the weekly infrastructure team meeting. We are the 15th of March, 2022. So today we have Hervé. Mark is not there. Tim is not there. We have Stéphane. Stefan Merle and Aditya. Do you, Aditya, do you have um, a discourse handle on community Jenkins IO, Aditya? Uh, yes. I think it's the Adit and Hero. I'll just type. Uh, can you share it on the Zoom chats, please? Because I'm really bad at typing. <laughs> Thanks. So you will be mentioned when we will publish to community. Okay. Um, announcement for this week. First of all, uh, we have the weekly release that uh, as every week was released automatically earlier today. So the version 2.3039 is available everywhere. Um, there is a checklist about uh, the Docker image that might not be available yet because someone has to run the job right now. Uh, but the rest went really, really nicely. It took a bit more time than usual, though. The testing part took uh, 25 minutes more. Not sure why. Uh, and there is currently a plugin advisory being released. So a bunch of plugins will be updated for security reasons. That's the reason why CI Jenkins IO is uh, offline right now. Status Jenkins IO is up to date. Do you have uh, any announcement? Yep. Okay. So today we are trying something new based on a bunch of really good ideas uh, from Hervé uh, here. Um, we keep the meeting notes as usual in ACMD, at least for now, because it's a collaborative uh, meeting note. So I count on you to help me maintaining these notes in a proper and readable way. However, we are trying to use a GitHub milestone. Um, so I'm splitting my screen in two so we can have both. Okay. Here we are. So I'm starting with this week. So uh, I propose the following process. First, we're gonna cover what task has been done during that milestone. So the milestone represents the work done during one week. Uh, it's not strict in timestamps, that's an order of magnitude. Then we will cover the work in progress to see if the tasks that we worked on this week, we should, if we should keep continuing working next week, if they are still important. If some these tasks are late for some unknown reason, we can discuss it and challenge ourselves. Finally, we will also check the to-do list, which means the task that we should have done, but we never had the time or the willingness to start, and the new incoming things that we discover or that were communicated to us. The work in progress on to-do list should result on issues on a new milestone that I've just opened before the meeting. So we have this one here that should be closed at the end of the meeting. And we have the new one. You have the link directly on the notes. Is that clear? Is, the, is there any question or things unclear on that? That's a proposal. That's perfect. OK. Uh, that, yep, yeah, sorry, Harvey. I see you're unmuted. Good for you. It's OK. Um, one uh, reminder for us mainly for me, but for everyone though, uh, when we have issues on LDesk, we have, and we start working on, we have to add them automatically uh, to the current week uh, milestone. So most of the time, if someone open an issue complaining about something not working and we start diagnosing as a day-to-day -day operation, don't forget to add it to the milestone. It's, it's not, a problem if we forget, it's just that it's better for us to see, oh, we walked, uh, we did all these cool things. 
but better to us to see the work we all did as a team. Let's get started. Uh, during the past week, we worked on, so it's not on the right order, but yeah, I'm gonna take the order on the left part. Um, the security groups uh, used on the Kubernetes uh, management config of Jenkins when using EC2 agent is now always automatically updated from our Terraform. So thanks Stefan for that. That means contribution on update CLI and adding the whole system and the system has been tested uh, successfully. So great job. Now we can change fearlessly the name of the security groups or the ID and it will be kept updated on other systems. Also, thanks for the work on Azure part. So first for the resource group garbage collector. So now the packer process that sometimes has some leftover on um, because it crashes, because whatever reasons. Now we are cleaning up these uh, resources on Azure uh, on each build. So at least once per week and it ensure that uh, we don't pay for unused resources. So thanks a lot for that part. Jenkins the, is the way the website, the marketing campaign was a WordPress website and it has been transformed by uh, Gavin Morgan, thanks a lot, into a static website that we can keep hosting. Uh, so it has been migrated as a static website and is now built by infra.ci. So thanks Gavin for taking care of that and thanks team for the help. The same area, thanks Hervé and team for handling the Azure credential management. So following a contribution that team did, now we can use native Azure credential in InfraCI Jenkins controller, which means instead of a bunch of strings, we can now have one single credential. So both Stefan and Hervé then apply these changes on Packer and other resources, including the garbage collector for Stefan. Uh, and some um, leftovers somewhere else. So thanks a lot for that part. Uh, that also helps us to maintain uh, in a sustainable way the infrastructure with less moving pieces and a centralized way to uh, change and rotate credentials. For the reminder, that was a consequence of expiring credential on Azure last week or two weeks ago, two weeks ago. Another big change, it's a GitHub app uh, instead of personal access token. So uh, based on uh, what we learn, we in fact Jenkins has the same ability as GitHub Action to generate a temporar, uh, temporary token during a build, name an installation access token, which is valid for one hour straight, uh, that is generated by using GitHub app authentication, which means user have a finer a grain for authorization. You can select not only permission, but also repositories on your organization that can be used. Uh, it doesn't require an, a GitHub account. The GitHub app can be defined at repository organization level. So that's clearly better for security. And thanks to Hervé, we are now using that mechanism on all our repository. So we shouldn't need, at least for Jenkins and Fraport, any uh, GitHub specific technical account. So better security because we should be able now to remove these users from user and cleaning it up in the future. CI Jenkins IO wasn't up to date um, immediately after the LTS release from last week. Uh, so yeah, I think that's something I forgot on the announcement. <laughs> that's quite an important one, right? So the LTS has been released last uh, Wednesday uh, successfully. And after, uh, during the one or two day after, uh, we had to update CI Jenkins and all the other controller that are based on the LTS line. No issue whatsoever, so good news. Um, there have been some minor hiccups left over on the infra report work due to the GitHub app change. So Hervé, thanks for standing up and fixing that. Uh, the, con the plugin contributor are, thing are really greeting you for that because that helps to keep plugins.jenkins.io up to date with the correct maintainer, but not only. Um, we've worked also on Docker images. The way we build Docker images uh, with containerless environment is now uh, causing problems since a few weeks. 
So we fully have the ability to build using virtual machine. It has run for three weeks. So we were able to close the issue related where EMG failing to build images based on Alpine Linux 3.14 or more. So that's really good news because we can proceed and go ahead for a recent versions. Finally, so GitHub app credential for infra report. I think we discussed that one last week, but let's put a word. So it's the same yep. as uh, for uh, the click task and every other okay. stuff, not using, uh, replace uh, the use of uh, GitHub uh, bot user by uh, GitHub app token. Okay, the only difference, if I understand correctly, is that the GitHub app here are not within our, our organization. These are GitHub apps on Jenkins CI organization that we don't have administration right into. Yeah, it's uh, this uh, script is running on uh, Jenkins Key organization. Yep. We are so the manager the of the app, but uh, uh, Jenkins Key admin uh, still has to accept and uh, uh, accept the permission if they change or something, some setting like that. Cool, so that's separation of concern between Jenkins Infra and Jenkins CI, which makes sense. So that's a bunch of issues. Thanks everyone. Um, we have on the currently open issues uh, for that milestone, we still have uh, two, two issues open. Um, and then we'll check the other ones. Uh, Terraform refresh Azure. So for that one, it's on me. I've uh, spent some time. I'm almost there. I'm able to now to create Azure RM backend, secured and uh, encrypted and replicated. So now the goal is to get started uh, and apply all our Terraform changes to the Azure repository, which means removing all the existing Azure uh, Terraform files that are out of date since at least 18 months, if it's not more. So let's start from a clean state and then create the new resource that we need now, such as database for rating or other tasks and import on the go every resource within Azure. So it's work in progress. Um, I'm opening it to put it on the new uh, milestone. And there is that issue. Um, it seems that there is, we still have a, DN, a MX DNS record for Jenkins IO that should be managed on Azure like all the other DNS record. However, that MX is delegated to Mailgun. No one, at least between Mark, Olivier, or um, Hi, or even Gavin and team, no one seems to have access to the um, uh, Mailgun accounts. So I need to reach out to Kosuke or Tyler, but I think Kosuke just to ask them to remove the delegation. Uh, I I missed the message from Gavin about we should ask the Linux Foundation maybe to manage email servers. So we should delegate the MX to Linux Foundation. Um, I'm not sure who is our contact since Tracy Miranda left the CDF. I'm sorry, but I'm not sure to get that because you just need to change the DNS record to have the MX to, to point somewhere else. You don't have yes. to deal with uh, with Melgan. They are just receiving it because we say to the DNS that the MX record is going to Melgan. But mm. if you change in the DNS, you don't have to, to say anything to Melgan that they are just receiving it because of the IP. Or, yes, that's or correct. Name. You yeah, just, yeah, yeah, makes sense, abuse. Yeah. You just have to change the DNS. So the question is who um, deal the DNS of Jenkins IO? We, we do. Um, so yes, we should be able to do it. If it's okay, uh, are you okay that we pair on that topic uh, after the My meeting pleasure. or later in the week? Okay, so uh, let, let me remove more, can add you? So let's consider we have that task to do during the week. Is that correct for, for everyone? Change the milestone already. Yeah, I just want to cover, uh, yeah. Uh, that's what we should do next week. But since uh, both you and I already moved some tasks, I want to cover the to-do task before adding everything, just to avoid. But uh, yeah, correct, um, you're, you're correct. Um, 
So here you have the email notification from GFrog Cloud status. Yeah, it was an experiment to see if we could have an issue uh, collecting all uh, GFrog uh, Cloud status notification. But uh, since the, I can I can open an issue and uh, comment on an issue uh, every time a new email arrived with an external services service like uh, Zapier. Mm -hmm. But uh, the problem with that is uh, the issue or comment, uh, issue comment uh, contains uh, the unsubscribe links. So oh. I, it's not good, but I, I might have other ideas to do that, like uh, uh, pulling the RSS uh, feed if they have one or something like that. Even maybe scrap their status page, I don't know. I'm, I'm sure there are other possibilities. Okay. Um, is there, uh, were you able to write on that status on the issue as self documentation or so not? I don't understand. I, um, what you just said, so you, okay, uh, it's on the status. Okay, do you need help on that one? Is there anything, someone else, or is it a to do task for this week? And um, let's proceed. Mm, to do task for this week or next week. I, it was an it was an experiment, so there isn't any hurry to do that. Okay. Uh, next one is switch from GitHub Action. Uh, to Jenkins for update CLI tasks. Yeah, there are uh, several uh, repository where um, Reptically has been set up as GitHub Action mm -hmm. since uh, wasn't, it wasn't possible before. And uh, I've looked at them, but I have to for some of them, I have to create a, a pipeline, and for the other, I have to adapt uh, and convert uh, the descriptive pipeline library pipeline into a scripted one. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, okay, so I there are some check pipeline some stuff okay. with you. Okay, so you need some. Okay, uh, is it okay? I assign myself to mark that then. Uh, just for myself, so I can track which one. Uh, um, question allowed. Do you think it should be worth it to work on to delay that one after having a specific infra CI multi branch pipeline for all of the key tasks? Or do you prefer starting this one and then we can? I, I don't have any advice. Working with a GitHub Action now, uh, there isn't any hurry for this one too. I can't delay this one now. Uh, whatever you prefer. If if you want to I, keep some time on that one. I don't know yet. Okay. So potentially we could uh, change and delay that one to uh, remove it from the milestone and instead replace it by uh, the update key, but if you feel it's important, no problem for doing that then. Um, should it be done? After or before uh, multi branch job only for update key on infra.ci. Okay. Thanks for the explanation, Hervé. On my side, I have the migrate infra report from trusted CI to infra CI. So that one, in fact, was a work in progress. I need to update the links. Um, so the idea is to, to run that the scripts that uh, Hervé mentioned earlier, that we switch from PAT to GitHub app that are uh, checking the Jenkins organization for statistics, but not only, also Jira and everything. And we want to migrate uh, this job, this single pipeline with multi-branches into a set of uh, different pipelines running on infra CI. So it's a two-step process. There is no order on these two steps. 
one of the requirements is to be able to define credential at job level to be sure that only this job have access to this credential on infra CI and not the other jobs, even accidentally. Uh, there, it's technically possible with job DSL, but it's hard in the way we use job DSL because we are using iteration. So uh, what I have to do for this week is to use Go templating on Elm file and Elm will generate the job DSL for us. And that should be really good enough for us to start uh, going that pattern. Same if you want some help on this. Uh... Mm -hmm. uh, yes. If I, I propose the following, let me know if it's okay for you. Uh, I will want to finish it myself uh, because uh, I want to, let's say, uh, uh, be more or less rusty with Golang template and Elm as a kind of exercise for myself. If it's okay for you, then we could pair or I could delegate with no problem the same exercise for all the other jobs on InfraCI. Like only the Terraform would have the credential for Terraform, only Packer for Packer, etc. So we can really uh, split between all the existing jobs. Sounds good for you? If you are willing to take it, uh, we can exchange tasks or whatever, I don't mind. Okay. Okay, let's go then. Um, so let me add two previous issues to the milestone. Okay, are there other topics that we tracked on the milestone and we forgot to talk about? Do you have other topic you want to bring or should I check the note from previous meeting? Should check the notes to make sure because that's the beginning. Okay, so and you have yes. Click on the previous milestone. You are, I've put the link in there. Oh, the great. Previous one. The previous one. Ah, the one from eight. Yep. Yes. Nice job. Cool. Thanks a lot, Hermé. Okay, what did we have testing it of milestone? So the cron trigger, we, we had it. Azure portal management. Uh, there isn't any issue. That one, let me add it. I need to open one. It's uh, There is my name there, so I should have opened one, my bad. Uh, Engineering Ingress and Cert Manager that was done two weeks ago. Uh, failed deployment because of credential, it's okay. Infra report, we spent quite some time today on that topic. GFrog incident, oh. Um, nothing to do here. So I will call that section others. Uh, GFrog answered to our requests. There are two things here. Uh, this no space left on device has been solved. It was an error on their side. We should have unlimited. Response about, we should be unlimited on storage. Even though we still have garbage collecting a process thanks to Daniel, it's still a good thing to clean up. But that should be okay. At least we should be able to reach the 12 terabytes before the next uh, slowness. And they have added the internal monitoring based on private discussion I had with them. Um, however, Gfrog asked us, so there is a to-do list for me as well. Uh, Gfrog asked, asked us uh, who were the person in charge of the partnership? Uh, just for the reminder, the partnership started when GFROC, uh, before, way before the IPO they have, way before their SaaS platform. It was a specific and standard state and managed just for us as part of a long-term partnership. Sounds like that most of the people who did that on GFROC have left the company. So they are asking us who are the person there. Uh, eight or 10 months ago, we had to create again a new account migrate the previous data uh, from the previous instance to the new one, change everything. So Daniel and Olivier took care of that by, uh, 10 months ago uh, because we had to be able to reach their support. 
So they had to keep track of us as a free customer on the database, which they didn't before. So feel like that them asking that kind of question might uh, reconsider the partnership, or at least they want to have it more formal, which makes sense. So I have to answer to them. Uh, do you feel I should open an issue for that part, or is it OK for you if I just go ahead and answer the email? Good. So thanks, Mark, uh, when you will uh, check that recording for sharing the contacts you have uh, with us, because my knowledge was close to zero on that area. Is there any question about GFrog? OK. Um, fastly purge requests. So I don't remember if we had time last week. So just a note, uh, the protection for purge has been reverted because it was uh, slowing down some of the contributor like team. So thanks, Harvey, because you had to go through the pain to enabling it and disabling it. Sorry for, for making you live through that. But at least we know how it works. And it uh, opened the uh, Fastly Terraform management for upcoming days. By the way, do we have an issue about Fastly Terraform that we should be able yes, to put on? Yes, we the... have. Cool. It's on the Terraform uh, winter spring. Milestone. OK. Which is an imported milestone. Um, do you feel uh, one of us can start working on that topic this week? Or I don't remember if we'd say the Oracle first and Fastly then, or I, I don't remember what we said uh, yesterday. We said that we will we will pair with mm -hmm. uh, Hervé first. And then uh, change. Uh, we do, and then we change. And I forgot if there was one before the other between Oracle mm -hmm. and, and Fastly. Do you remember uh, Hervé or? Do you, have, do you have one you prefer to do? Uh, select one. Uh, Do you think you uh, you could be able to work on it on that milestone? Otherwise, we we wait for later. Uh, we can, but we will have to discuss a little bit about affecting it to issues or project uh, milestone or project. To we can't have two milestone on an issue. Yes. And I'm not sure switching my stone every time we want to do it weekly or not is a good session. Um, we have to discuss it before. I yeah, the, that is project management question. So no problem for discussing that. And that's correct. However, my question is, do you feel between this meeting and next week meeting on the upcoming seven day, do you feel you, you could be able to start working on either Fastly Terraform or Oracle Terraform? If you can, that's not a problem, but I'm asking the question. Fastly is a new one. So when I spoke about it, when we spoke about it together, it was, I was more in, uh, I was thinking uh, it should be uh, uh, a task for Stefan as there aren't any new and uh, existing uh, resources to import. It's an easy one, in quote. So you should okay. you should uh, do the Oracle one and I pair with you and then I will do the Fastly and you I, pair I, with I you. can I can do the Fastly already, but it's uh, yeah, but I that's a nice one if... for me to try. That's what mm. you said. We might have thought that a bit too quickly. We have resources yeah. on Fastly as for today. We have currently free website managed by Fastly, so we will have to import these resources. Mm. So I'm thinking a lot, but that should be the same amount of work for both. Um, okay, maybe but you... let, yep. let me try uh, Fastly this week and so I yeah. know what, what to expect when importing uh, existing resources. Okay, so no problem for you to get started on one of these two. Okay, so let's start with Fastly and let's see if we have time or not, no problem. Cool. Um, what other notes did we have? Uh, similarity help desk where we talk about that. Update security group that has been done. Garbage collector that has been done. Um, hmm. Now we have 
Okay, we have passed five minutes. So there is one last task for me. Report the previous issues. Yes, reports stale issues from previous meeting. Into help desk issues. And let me add. Uh, Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, that's all for me. Are there other topics that uh, we forgot that you want to bring that you want to talk about? That's cool. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Thanks, folks. Have a good day and see you next week. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye.